Shadrach, the Lord bless you. Thank you, Shofar. You may humbly take your seat. At this moment, we want to welcome everyone here this morning, guarded here. It's a privilege for us to be guarded every time. One of the things that we have come to realize is that we need to celebrate people in their living days, not in their dead days. So if our mother, our daughter, our friend, our sister has chalked that our wife <laughs> has chalked that success of the jubilee. 50 years is not an easy task. Being the wife, being the mother, being a, 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 a reverend minister, being a, a, a mother and being, you know, mothering breeds of different characters these years. Is worthy of celebration. Can we give the Lord a mighty clap of offering and celebrate the life of Lady Reverend Gloria Kafri Lamte? At this moment, we are all seated. We have great men and women of God who are here to grace the occasion. But why are we seated? We want to invite the father of this house, the husband to the celebrant, the lover to the celebrant, and the boyfriend to the celebrant, and then the pastor to the celebrant.
and with a, with a clap offering and celebration of Hannah, let's welcome Apostle Abraham Lamte as he gives us the welcome. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Calf. I, before I do anything, I have something to say. Some 25 years ago, or 25 years, six months ago, I saw this young lady being screamed at by her spiritual mother. Gloria, Miss Anio was saying, Can I be a Ningbo? Can I say? Then I shifted to look at the Gloria that was being talked about. I gathered courage two weeks later, went to her, and I said, Good evening, sister. She said, Good evening. I said, I want to marry you. Will you marry me? She looked at me and said, Are you my type? Today, I am giving that question again. Before I proceed, take the pose you took when I approached you. Sister Gloria, good morning. Good morning. My name is Bri Brown. You know me. Yes. I am the youth choir leader. Yes. I want to marry you. Okay. Will you marry me? Yes, I've married you already. <laughs> well done. Well done. When two men come or can, I don't know. Okay, well done. Good morning again, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, men and women in this stubborn field. I want to acknowledge the presence of some dignitaries. My name Abraham Lamte. I am the twin brother to the celebrant. First, I want to acknowledge the presence of the parents to the celebrant, Mr. and Mrs. E.K. Nyamode. The man who made me sit at the edge of the sofa when I went to tell him I want to marry the daughter. Today, reminds me of something I have to share. The wedding was on a Saturday and the threat came on a Monday. We didn't know till Friday. And I remember that day when Mama Rita gathered some three other women, Mrs. Opariado, Elizabeth Parks, and they drove to Agege, sat with my father. Within 30 minutes, if you don't fear the power of a woman, Get ready to be castrated. Within 30 minutes, settled. The same father who was being stubborn was now so soft and became the defenders. Today we are celebrating that same lady. I want to also acknowledge the presence of the auntie of the celebrant. Mama, you are welcome. And the family, the, the Nyamode and the, uh, the family of Reverend Mrs. Gloria Kafri Lamte are here. Let's acknowledge their presence. From my far right, we have Reverend Abraham Adokwensha, Reverend Kingsley, Reverend Hannah Nakwale Kwote, Apostle Michael Kranting Asanti, Apostle James Amati, Apostle Kolete Sobojo, Reverend Dr. Ebitete, and his wife. And then I see the caucus in the area. Apostle Nketia and the wife are here. Reverend Emmanuel Kofi Aye, who played the role of my wife when I was in the University of Assemblies of God in Lome. We shared the same room and uh, he is here with us, Reverend Aye. Let's acknowledge your presence. And also, I love to call him Professor. Anytime we're talking, it is Bible, Bible, Bible. Reverend Dr. Stephen Doku is here, who will be a professor very soon. We also have Reverend Dr. Abraham Lord Mensa in our midst with his wife, my sister, Sister Akole. We have Reverend Francois Alaudo, my body body in worship. And uh, 
We also have Lady Reverend Dokas Tete in our midst. God bless you, Mama Dokas. And Lady Reverend Abna Asari. Hallelujah. Now, the next to be introduced are the generals. The mothers and grandmother who are mothering and grandparenting the lady of the day. Yesterday, I went to a program and when I arrived around 10, 30, 11, I wanted to do something. You know, Takashi. And then she looked at me and was like, me, the I alone kept you on track. I couldn't jump off the rail. This woman nurtured and still nurturing the celebrant. If I have something and I need something and I want something done by papa, all I have to do is to get to her. And she'll say, Abraham, don't worry. AG will get to you. Agbela. Please, the woman who saw what was in me when nobody knew what I contained, the woman who will carry me along everywhere she's going to minister, I remember those days. The Kumasis for days, the Volta region for days, the Western region for days. I didn't know what was in me, but she saw it then, and she keeps seeing, and she has seen more in her daughter. Please, with a standing ovation, let's acknowledge the presence of our spiritual mother, the premier lady of Royal House Chapel, Mama Rita. Reverend Dr. Mrs. Rita Granchiankra, God bless you, mommy, for coming. She keeps looking young and young and young and young. And uh, now I understand why Calf keeps looking young. Seated on the left of Mama Rita is a woman you wouldn't know until you get closer. Endowed with wisdom. Excellent sense of humility. And I've always admired this woman until the first day I went to Victory Bible Church to see Bishop. And she happened to be the first person I met. I didn't know she knew me. When I got there, she was like, Osopo Abraham, I'm like, if, if mommy knows me, then be careful. Please, again, with a standing ovation, let's acknowledge the presence of mama Takia boy. Then sitting on the head of the table is a man <laughs> is a man you can't afford to hate. A man who has seen it all know it all, and still very humble and down to earth. I remember when we visited him, he didn't ask us our mission. Abraham, Gloria, about the Adani and why you knew that. And when we got there, Chale, and this man pushed the soup to us, to dish. Papa Lenin Bobo, she ought to won't wake up in here. Cafe ni ye boa we ye. I couldn't swerve. And she could see that I have targeted some snail and some smoked fish in the corner. But I was shy. And then he said, Abraham, pan on off your chow won't wake up. Then he concluded by saying, I'm making you enjoy all this, not because of you, but because of my daughter, Gloria. And even this morning, when he came, he told me, I am not here because of you. I am here because of my daughter, Gloria. Now, if you have a father-in-law like that, won't you love the daughter more so you get more of him? Please, again with a standing ovation, let's acknowledge the presence of the one and only evangelist Dr. Lawrence Tete. I am still being intimidated, but I refuse it. Now, that beautiful day under the mango tree at North Kamishu. 
Kranji open no slim men if you worship her. Ani le li di mo. And it was raining. And that was my first time of seeing a woman so much on fire and the rain is still moving. So on our way, I leaned and I asked Pastor Jay, who is that woman? And then he mentioned the name. From that day, I never stepped away from the oil and the unction. And when I left mommy's parents' home, I told her there are three persons she should never try taking me away from. And this great woman I'm about introducing, she's a grandma. I'm not saying grand yet, grand in size. Before I'll come to the parental grant, I'm talking about size grant. She is a grandmother. Not only here in uh, uh, Hippic Expectant Ghana, but all over the world. She is a mother to our mother. So now I'm coming to the biological aspect. Solid dear. <laughs> the first time I heard it, the solid be mentioned in a typical ga way. Kake e chano bejega. Like I be saying, ahi or ayo. So that was the first time I heard solid dear. Now when the air is added, then the one saying it owns it. So can we try it? Solid dear. This is a grandmother. And one thing I love about her is she doesn't care who you are. If you deserve pa, 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 this morning I have received my own. And I know the celebrant should be ready for her own. That is grandparents. They wouldn't let your parents beat you. But they have the right. Because in Ghana, when your child gives birth, then you can say, Nabi. Ladies and gentlemen, this one, the standing will be longer. Because she is a grand and a grandmama. We are already standing. Please, let us celebrate. Reverend Dr. Christy Do Tete Ma Mui Mui Wezo. No, I said Mui. I go men fake campaign in ke Wezo. Ma Mui Wezo. Apomato Vio Amesiama Lenia Mauna Yrao Braco Minoni. I have been converted and transverted. She just walked in, and I'm not going to spare her for getting here late. She should have been here by 3 a.m., and that was the time she was getting home. I think she should be Mama Christie's great granddaughter. Have you asked for forgiveness? You did. From mommy. So, grandma, I know one papa, I can't be said. She can't be now, no need to let. And well, uh, Reverend Dr. Charlotte Odro just walked in. Amen. The rest, if I don't mention your names, it's not intentional. It's just that breakfast is delayed. And some of us, we can't wait that long. So let's hurry through. I will hand over the microphone to uh, Pastor Joe to proceed. My name, I'm your co-MC. My name is Nilampe. God bless you. Thank you very much, Apostle Abraham Lamte. Um, at this moment, we are going to have a cultural um, dance display from Lomnava Dance Ensemble. Let's welcome and celebrate them as they come to um, give us some cultural and local display.
Thank you very much, Lomnava Dance Ensemble. At this point, we want to enjoy some choral music from Melodious Choral. Let's celebrate them.
Thank you very much, Melodious Choral. Let's celebrate them. I'm partner Ye Ye Dawson. He's been a faithful and a good God. I would like to introduce one woman who, um, through her hands, um, way back about two decades ago, um, at GBC, that um, I've been groomed to this level. I quite recall clearly in the newsroom, I was asked to. You know, usually we have the assignment for the day and you want to show off that you've been to school and you can speak English. Don't walk around that woman and you want to speak English. I took the assignment book and instead of midwifery, I said midwifery. The woman said, hi, hey, you said what? For almost a week on the corridors of GBC, I became dumb because every word that proceeds, you must think carefully before it drops. Because that's the place you'll be corrected. The grammar will be corrected in the air whilst you speak it. Please help me celebrate our Henry Gifty Auntie. Thank you very much. So now I know it's midway free, not midway free. <laughs> At this moment, we have a wonderful choir in this house. It's the host choir in this house, being nurtured by this woman. Um, troublesome, troubled hair. But she loves every one of them and groom most of them to this level. Let's welcome the shofar as they minister, as we celebrate the 50th birthday of Lady Reverend Gloria Kafri Lamte. Celebrate them as they're coming. Today we've seen a whole lot of fascinators. I've not seen some of these. I'm just praying that some people's fascinators will not hold a curtain. Celebrate them, they're coming. Celebrate. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made and will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so happy to see today and I'm so glad that we are all beautifully seated here to celebrate 50 years of God's goodness. We have come this far by grace and if you are here to celebrate the mama of the house, I want you to join me 
sing this song to thank God for how far he has brought her. Amen.
Aleluya. Adom ni e humo pro. Na e di na pedu hane. Nya mi nya wado. Akasit ne pe e de kra. So brand new e de pa. Me swado. the sofa you seen us through all oh, video and let's see what Okay, these things, they do happen. So, it, we, we, we'll proceed as technology. Um, that's why you should trust the creation of God, that God is the best creator. He created a human being, and that's it. Um, we'll come back to this video. But a pastor friend of mine, our kids, you know, school in the same institution, and... I was taking my little girl to school to enroll her. And I was asking them that, how much is the, the enrollment fee? A little girl that is about one year old, they said you have to pay 3000 So my pastor friend shouted, ah, a child that we don't know whether she will be intelligent or not. 3000 and then he went further to ask that the 3,000, is it for the whole year or just for? And then he further asked Papa that, where are you putting the child? He said the child is going to play group. He said to play, not 3,000. And he's a Nigerian man. He said for the child to play alone, I should come and pay 3,000. And the child, I did not, I can't tell whether she will be intelligent or not. And... A long story short, he looked at himself and he said that he himself does not know he will be intelligent. So the child should go home because the drop, everyone that dropped out in school is great now. Bill Gates dropped out. He kept mentioning, mentioning, mentioning. He said now the child is a dropout by the grace of God and he's doing well. Please, at this moment, we have a message from a great woman of God, she's going to give us a brief exhortation. We've heard a lot about her. And, you know, beautiful women are born in April. Please. Um, um, anointed, anointed women and beautiful ones are born in April. Um, the ones I know is, are the ones I'm talking about. I, I know of Mama Gloria Lamte and my grandmother 
uh, Reverend Dr. Christy Dotete. She's also a, an April born. Yes, yes, yes. Her birthday is few, uh, Tuesday next week. So you should know that uh, anointed and beautiful women are born in April. You can clap for that. You can clap if you are not jealous. You can clap if you are not jealous. And I, I, I'm going to introduce a man. He's going to do that introduction. And then we're going to have a mama to come and speak to us briefly. And then the rest of the activities will continue. Let's welcome Apostle Abraham to introduce our speaker. Amen. They call her the premier lady. I call her Mama Rita. 26 years, two months ago, I came to Friday Miracle Service and she said to me, Abraham, Monday we are going to Kumasi. I said, ah, mommy, I'm a prison officer. She didn't care. We are going to Kumasi. And uh, I obeyed. We got to Kumasi. And uh, I have never seen this woman under such anointing. I went to worship. But then when she took the microphone, Jesus, I was lost. In the midst of ministering to Kumasi Shians, she called me, Abraham, come here. You, this, that, 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 that. And when she finished, she, she handed me the microphone. Knowing Papa for who he is, he will raise the song at home. Be careful not to mess it up. When you take over, he will leave it for you. Knowing this, when mommy asked me to sing, I said, Lord, help me to continue the oh. We got back to Accra after four days. I went to work and they gave me extra duty for absenting myself for four days. I didn't tell her. But I was getting tired because I would go to night duty and then in the morning come to work. The second day I was praying for God to redeem me and God said, the redemption is in your mouth. The third day when I went for the night duty, they gave me two weeks night duty, extra duty. The third day I was carrying the gun at night, stood right behind the bedroom of the chaplain, whom I was guiding at night, prison's chaplain, and I began to scream behind his window, Father, protect this man and his family. I made sure he couldn't sleep with prayer. The next day, I was relieved of my extra duty. And that was the first manifestation, fulfillment of what he said to me. He said, Abraham, from today, I speak over you. Your days in prison service are numbered. This woman, I don't joke with her prophecy. She's the one coming to exalt us. If you want to know who the celebrant's mother is, observe her. Listen to her and take the words of her mouth. I inquisitively drove through Shiloh recently when I was going to Aplau, and when I stepped foot there, I said, Jesus, this can only be God through a willing servant. Ladies and gentlemen, giving honor to whom Anna is due. She is the pastor to my father, Apostle General Sam Kranchiankra, and a mother to many. I can say without fear that she is the one that brings the largest gathering of women annually in this country, the whole world. When this great woman brings women together, the men hide. Join me with celebration, receive. Myself and the celebrant, our spiritual mother, Mama Rita. Can you see what the Lord has done? Oh, Nyami, Adiawaye, 
the Lord everyone. A minute to 12 or four minutes to 12. So good morning. Please be seated. I want to honor my mom. <laughs> Mama Christy Do Tete. Anytime I call her my first thing, my only mother. I want to honor my sister, Mama Dora. Born in the same year, married in the same year. Got born again in the same year in this room. The parents, Kafui, before you called everybody to come, you have honored this woman. On my birthday, I honor my parents because without them, I won't be celebrating a birthday. Thank you for bringing this woman into this world. I don't know if you remember, but I have known you way back as a little girl in the Catholic Church in Sacred Heart Parish. Yeah. We used to be in the same. So I have known her before Royal House. My father was the president of the Catholic parish and handed over to Kafui's dad. It's generational. I like that. I honor you for bringing this woman into this world. Honor you for taking care of her. Honor you for not giving up on her. And incidentally, Kafui's mom and me share the same birthday. When Christians dress up and they see food, they can't clap. Please clap. I always say that I can see the handwriting of God on the wall. It's not an accident that her biological mother and her spiritual mother share the same birthday. It's not accidental. There are some people who try to take her free from me. But what God has written... Psalm 126, I honor everybody here. Every great man, every great woman here, I honor you. Dr. Lawrence Tete, I honor you. All the great men and women on the high table, I honor you. The husband of Kafui, I will come to you. 
Psalm 126. And he reads, when the Lord brought us back to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. How we loved. How we sang for joy. Then the other nations said about us. The Lord did good things for them. I'm reading for the GNT. Indeed, he did great things for them. No, indeed, he did great things for us. How happy we are. Let me have my iPad. Quickly. Some of us are so used to This is from the New King James. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Please, this is New King James. Don't say I've made a mistake in English. Nana Yere. My darling. You might be crying today. You might be in difficult times today. You might be bitter today. Maybe you even came here without money. Maybe you came here sick. Maybe you are looking for a husband. Maybe all you are looking for is a child. Maybe you are into ministry, you are a pastor. And the way you expect your church to grow, it is not growing like that. Maybe you are a church member. And you can feel it. That you hold your Bible Sunday after Sunday. You go to church Sunday after Sunday. What you're expecting from God, the Lord hasn't done for you. My darling, when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, today, it's like you are far away from your miracle. You are in captivity. Today, it's like you are asking, where is your God? You are in captivity. You are asking, when I call on God, does he answer? You ask, as for me, what sin have I committed that God is not blessing me? I have asked those questions before. And when God decides to change your story. Reverend Lawrence started. You remember we all started born again. Bus to bus all night. My darling, if you see me looking good today and you think I just arrived, I haven't just arrived though. I have been around a long time. Achimota Forest. Legon Gardens. I mean, where didn't we go? We all started as mates. Saw Victory Bible Church. Saw all the big 
churches around. Then my elder sister had a wedding. I got married before my elder sister. Went to ICGC. Hey. I don't have the voice, but I love worship. Then I heard the choir. Those days, electric drums had come. Saw the electric drums. Saw the congregation in, in uh, Baden Power Memorial Hall. Right in that church, I asked myself, God, what sin has my husband and I committed? We used to pastor a church. It wasn't our own church. It doesn't matter how much we tried, Mama Christy. The church rose up to 30. When we try and the church gets to 35, five people will leave. Abowo, no one past 30. That day, I said, God, I am tired of where two or three are guarded. I said, God, I am tired. I have saved you since my teenage. what Mama Gloria went through. But what I went through in the hands of my parents, Catholic parents, my father asked you all night, Nasi and he's saying, you are not going. Fine now. Somebody who went tell my dad, I'm preaching on the bus. When I get home, hey, fire is Oweto. What do you want? Why are you such a disgrace to the family? How can you be preaching on the back? I remember my 21st birthday. My parents took me to Archbishop Dominic Ando to tell, uh, to tell him there was something happening to me. I'm, I was going crazy. I was preaching on bars. I was fasting, having all night. At that meeting, Archbishop told them, leave her. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> so that day when I went to ICGC, I said, God, remember all these things. Then my husband had traveled to Holland for greener pastures. Ghana was hard. What to eat was tough. My firstborn, I don't know how she got beautiful. Because I couldn't afford folic acid. What? My darling, I was in captivity. Then in September of 1992, my husband said, I am coming down from Holland. Gather the remnants of showers of blessing. Then it was an evangelistic group. Gather them. Start Sunday service. I am coming. So I started. Started. He came back in December. I handed over the microphone to him, went back, and became an usher. Wore black skirts and white top with the ushers. When Apostle Abraham came to the church, I was at the back as an usher. My darling, today it is like I am dreaming. Royal House Chapel. Just last week.
week, we went to Kofodia Royal House Chapel. I said, God, so all these days when we were uh, pastoring 30 people, did you know we will have branches all across? Royal ladies, the group I pastor is all over. When I gather the women in thousands, how it happened, I don't know. But I am here to prophesy to somebody that today you are crying. Today you are wailing. Today you are sad. Tomorrow you are in pain. You don't know what is happening to you. But I am coming, to, I am here to let you know that tomorrow you will think that you are dreaming. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy way, our end, the glory of God. It says, then our mouth was filled with laughter. And our tongue was singing. My darling, me no folk and the woo soon. But I can see laughter in the air. Today, my daughter is celebrating 50. If you see her and you envy her, my darling, you'll be making a mistake. She's gone through her season of crying. She's gone through her season of pain. Today, the Lord has placed laughter in her mouth and dancing at her feet. Some years ago, I used to see this kind of gathering, birthday celebration, wearing fascinator, wearing white. I saw it as waste of resources. I said the kingdom needs money. Bo, o ba yue shilo sani. O ha ko mi noko for shilo. I had gone to apostolic church. The one by Bubuashin ran about. I had gone to minister. Immediately I finished ministry. I looked at my phone and my sister had called about 20 times. I said, why would my sister call this much? So I called her. Immediately I called her. She said, Mama Rita, one man temu I said, What are you talking about? She said, Tito, Tito was her husband, has had an accident. And you need to come now. Just when I was driving and he had the accident on the motorway. Just when I was driving to motorway, I had a call from one of our pastors, Reverend Johnny. And Reverend Johnny said, Mama Rita, before you go to Tema, pass through the church. I said, Reverend Johnny, both of us are pastors. I understand the pastoral language. If he's gone, let me know. By the time my sister called me, my brother-in-law had already gone. And they were waiting for me to come and break the news to my brother-in-law. Guess how old he was. Apostle Abraham Lamte, he was 49 years old. He didn't get to 50. My darling, if God
God causes you to reach 50. You need to celebrate. You didn't just get to 50. You have gone through the pain. You have gone through the struggles. You have gone through the poverty. You have gone through the crying. You have gone through it. Our end. The glory Next week, my mother will be 67. Our strength. We will celebrate her. Thy grace. Our room. Thy way. they want to say. Sometimes we think about the world. We think about our enemies. We think about those out there and we do not want to celebrate our victory. Gloria, today you have the blessing of your mother to celebrate. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy way. That we were mad on the streets of Accra. They wish we are naked. They wish every morning when we wake up, we will come with our place and our suspense doing la la su la la. They wish our churches were empty. They love it when our children are on drugs. We will disappoint them. My darling, you are wearing white today. You are celebrating today. I have come to prophesy to you that you will celebrate throughout the year. Year 2024, you will celebrate. Year 2025, you will celebrate. 2026, you will celebrate. 2027, you will celebrate. 2028, you will celebrate. 2029, you will celebrate. 2030, you will celebrate. Until Jesus Christ comes, I have come to prophesy to somebody that you will celebrate. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to place laughter in your mouth and place dancing at your feet. I have come to give you a testimony. I have come to give you a story. If you are here today and you are sick, I heal you of every sickness. If you are here and there's a burden over your heart, I remove that burden. If you are here and you are crying, you will cry no more. If you are here and you are weeping, 
I wipe your tears. Oh, friend of Jesus with Mama Dora last week and I was sharing my story and my testimony. How I married and I was in one small room kitchenette. I couldn't afford a curtain. I used a cover cloth. As a curtain on my window and every day when I open my window I will see Mama Dora and Bishop Takia boy pass. And I say, how blessed these people are. Look at me in my room. What to eat is a problem. I was pregnant. The room was hot. I come out, I get malaria. I go for continental. I couldn't afford for the can say the big complex. Today, if God has placed a laughter in my mouth, and you don't know the journey. My darling, those who are wishing for your downfall, they will go through. Those who are wishing for your failure, they will fail. Those who are wishing for you to die, they will die. Any arrow that is thrown at you will go back to sender. As for you, I make a wall of fire around you. And I say, may the living God, the God we have served since our teenage days, may that God protect you and cover you. Let me close. He says, then they said among the nation, no. And our tongue was singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. My darling, you won't be the only one who will laugh. Like Sarah, others will laugh with you. The Lord has done great things for us and we will be glad. Halfway, the Lord has sent me to tell you this is only the beginning. You have just started. You will win every battle. You will level every mountain. The levels God has taken your mother, God will take you there. The platforms your mother has stood to preach, you will stand on that platform. Honorable, I have come to prophesy to you. You think you have arrived? You haven't seen anything yet. God has given your father a voice, not only in Ghana, but in the nations. I give you that voice. I have come in my capacity as your mother to release a mother's blessing over you. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to take your pain. I have come to take your sorrow. And I place in your mouth laughter and dancing. And I declare that the world will hear your story. The world we hear your testimony. God bless you. I wish you well. And it is forever well. Before, before you hand over my song, G, uh, oh, the Jesus song, the one I love. No, 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 no. No. Ah. Oh. The Jesus song. I 
I'm handing over. It's been my victory song. Jesus, my, my, my shepherd, my. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's I'm coming, my darling. I have come to admonish somebody. In your pain, worship God. In your pain, serve God. If you are losing your relationship with God, this Lent season, this period of Easter, go back to your first love because he's about to change your story. He's about to give you laughter. How sweet the name of Jesus on in a Indeed, the Lord is our way and our end. I pray that as our mother has spoken, you have experience to justify your message. Because the message is assumed out of great plethora of experiences and you can feel the connection of the message through the messenger because of the experience that she had been through and we can all resonate that there is flow of power because the scripture says that the blood overcame the, by the blood of the lamb we overcame the devil and with the words of our testimony. And as we have gathered for this birthday celebration, we pray that by the time we are done, great testimonies are flowing all around us. I want to acknowledge Apostle Francis J. and the wife, please. <laughs> Dr. Justice Avevo, thank you for coming. Apostle Godson from Pong and the wife. Reverend Barry Maba and the wife. Um, we have a gentleman here. He and then we have Councillor D.Y. Donko. He was telling me that I should introduce him because 
if I, I do, Apostle has something he would do to him. But this one, you can't escape it. So, <laughs> from above. So, there is a gentleman here. Obebo Eraden Samrani. Now, answer Obebo Eraden Samrani. The person we are celebrating today is one who believes life means different things to different people at different times. I have personally experienced genuine love from this woman when I was the music director in this church years ago. When Apostle Abraham who called me and shouted at me, she has a way of, you know, finding a way to deal with you that you not feel the pain. If you don't know someone from by close relation, don't try to demean the person's personality. Because we don't have to know people by the flesh. Know no man after the flesh. And this woman has a sweet spirit. Was speaking to me, most of her programs and events, I'm always there to help her plan. He said, Joe, I've gotten to a point in my life. I don't care about what people say. I have tried enough. I have seen enough. Let me enjoy. I said, Ma, you have to enjoy. He said, I have cried. Oh, I have cried. This was a personal. She was just talking and she, I have cried. I have seen it. This is the time. Let me enjoy. You people don't come and disturb me. Don't nobody should come and disturb me. I want to enjoy. And I want you to celebrate the Lord with a clap as she enjoys today. She's a person that believes that life is about giving meaning to lives and having fulfillment. She also believes forgiveness is an order to Christians so that they can live a fulfilled life without bitterness, offenses, and unforgiveness. She is actually not brought out. She has studied and been experienced through ministry. She went to International Theological Seminary and holds a degree in Biblical Studies and a diploma in Christian Counseling. That's why she can counsel you and you understand that there is anointing for counseling and not just speaking. Over the last few years, she has been involved in the ministry supporting her lovely husband, her boyfriend, her sugar daddy, um, her chocho mucho, to build a formidable ministry. Believers House of Worship International, which is one of the fastest growing churches and we can all bear witness to that. She's also a marriage counselor. And they've been married for years. And she has lots of children. Lots of them. Lots of them. I'm going to invite this gentleman to come. Nongwe Radin Samrani. And that appellation. There's one thing we do forget. That anyone who wants to get the attention of God, like you walk into the palace of the king. When you appellate the king, the king is not of himself anymore. You see, when the linguist, somebody is speaking to the king, there is a linguist that in, speaks on behalf of the person. But anyone that is, is in appellation mood, there is no interpreter. There is no linguist. It goes directly to the king. And you become the linguist to the king. Let's welcome Ohiniba Clement. Celebrate. Celebrate. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, celebrate Jesus. The Bible says we should give honor to them that are nice to us, especially them that labor in the house of the Lord. I appreciate and acknowledge all the great, great men of God, my mothers and my fathers. The Lord bless you all. Hey, Pimpin' my wife, I 
From here, we zoom in into a place of worship to glorify God. We have Alexandra Boaji here. We have um, Kasimati. We have Kojoting and the rest. We're going to take us to a place of just try to celebrate the Lord and worship along. Alexandra. Spirit our mothers and our fathers and our listeners afternoon. We just want to say that thank you, Jesus, for how far you've brought us. And also to say a prayer to God on behalf of our mother. Amen.
Thank you very much. Let's celebrate the gift of God. Let's celebrate the gift of God. Alessandra, the Lord bless you. Oyinaba Clement, the Lord bless you. Um, we have a very important item on the program. Um, the celebrant wrote a book years ago and she had to reprint it and add some few things to it. And today, as she celebrates her 50th birthday, we're going to launch that book and outdoor that book. Dangers of Offenses. And we're privileged to have So, we, we are privileged to have this great man of God to help us do that um, with a standing ovation and celebration of clap. Let's welcome Dr. Lawrence Tete as he comes to help us do this. Amen. Please take your seats. And the book, the, the book is not Dangerous of Offense. Dangerous of Offense is my book. This one is victory over offenses. I wrote dangers of offense many years ago. Let me be quick to say, as a Gloria and Apostle Lante, I sat on this table emotionally. I watched my big brother's wife, and for some of us, Mama Christido is everything to everybody. She fits in every pair of shoes that is given to her. If you want a mother, she's a mother. If you want a friend, she's a friend. If you want a colleague, if you want somebody to, to shake somebody for you, make sure she will. I, many years ago, she came to preach in the UK. And when she finished preaching, the whole team of the TD Gigs team and all the uh, Matashemulu team called and said, my wife has done very well. My wife preached very well. I said, yes, my wife pre preaches very well. Then Barbara asked me, oh, wife, they want to give me my Christy daughter to latch on. <laughs> so we adopted that day that I have two wives. One is Barbara Tete, the other is Mama Christy Do Tete. But on that meeting, she shook the whole of the UK. It was shown on every platform. Christian channel, God channel, inspiration channel, the Revelation Network, and and as you may look at, okay, no, no, hey, hey, it's a, it's a big deal, and so most people in the UK knows her to be my wife, and I didn't say no. So there was a time she was celebrating a birthday, and we made a mistake. In Kenya, but me and Jamal me and you know, and then me and Bishop Kui, we went to the birthday. You know, we have that jolly jolly relationship with Mama Christina, and she was in jeans, and she was some orphanage being. She was doing something, and as a question, she gave us food. We ate. She treated us well. See us off. We forgot to come and pay the money. I didn't know that I was dealing with a Bishop Benson, the other's daughter. I was with my friends in a restaurant, and wow, I saw Mama Christy do enter. I said, Lawrence, oh, here, there she go, I got up, and she put her hand in my pocket, and took all the money, and she said, if I don't know and I talk, <laughs> I won't know what he, but this is a woman. Uh, make welcome. Lydia Akwele Tegu, Yossi, and Elizabeth Akwoko Tegu Yossi. Amen. I told Yossi, I'm going to be a new one. I'm going to be a new one. I'm going to be a new one. So, Mama Christy, I am happy you are here. And we are proud of you. We celebrate you. No, we celebrate you. 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 
And let me also say, sometimes people don't realize the extent of certain relationships. But when Mama Rita was preaching, my, my mind went back. When I was ordained, she was there. Far away in Brentwood, in the United Kingdom. My son David was very little. Barbara has put on weight because another one was coming. And Mama Rita, the family, of course, my relationship with the Kwanchian Christ goes date back. When I was building here, one day, myself, him, Bishop Pue, I came to my place to do the sword cutting with uh, Apostle General. Then we went to his place to do the sword cutting. So this relationship is not today. I used to come from UK, come and preach on Friday and finish and go the same night. It was in that church of theirs in Silver Cup that I met Apostle Abraham Lampe. So this is a relationship that dates back. Mama Rita, such a small world. Thank you. The message you preach today touched my heart. When I hugged Oheniri Gifti, and I said, this is a family gathering. Then I saw Dr. Drew, and I'm seeing everybody. And I see the Tego sisters here. I think someone is so. But there's a gentleman here I need to acknowledge before I speak. I believe in every community, you give honor to the one honor is due. The Chidom Hini of the Ashanti Traditional Council is here. He's here not because he was invited here. He's here because Otunfo asked him to come and drag me. And coincidentally, I had to be in this program. So he too is here. Echidomhini is the Konahene of Ashanti. He was he who hosted King Charles today, who was then King Charles. And Nana Kumenin Kunedu. This is the most so in the Ashanti kingdom, he's supposed to be the defense minister, or any defense minister. Yes, that's right. And then also we have the Reverend, right Reverend Abraham Lawrence. Right Reverend Abraham Lawrence was the one that we thought was going to be the black mayor of London. When we went to London in the mid-80s, they were the ones who were ministers and were also serving. In fact, he signed my marriage certificate. So I'm happy to see all of you this morning that they came to visit and I thought we should come. The ambassador to Ukraine was also here. He just left. This book we're about to launch, I would love for Mama, Rita and Mama, Christy Do Tata should join me here again too. Please, with all respect. These are women of substance. These are women who carries weight. These are mothers, not just by their age, but mothers that carries unction. And the truth is that, Gloria, you are doing the right thing by surrounding yourself around with these kind of women, not your age group. As much as we love Mama uh, 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 Dr. Charlotte Odro and Mama Ohini Yiri and all of them, they are still at the younger generation. In fact, Bumole, oh, that bath cry, bath cry, bath cry. Okay, Matthew, she may not know it here. But if you have Mama Christotete and Mama Rita Kwanchiankra behind you, you are secure. 
they are not hungry. It's very important to me. And they are not seeking for your money. They are not here because of an offering you give them. They are not here. So when these ones are standing by you, and I say this thing, you know the way I speak. I speak frankly. So I want them to hold this book together and let them pour their spirit into it. Mama Christido, you start first. Pour your spirit. Allow me to hold you. Father, this book is birthed out of life's long experiences. I pray and I prophesy over all who will receive copies here today and wherever this book reaches. May your word come alive. May anyone going through life's challenges see victory beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus, we prophesy powerful anointing upon this book that anybody who grabs it will not let it go until they are finished reading it. We bless the author. We bless all who will take copies today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I join my anointing with the anointing of my mom and we pour it into this. And I pour it into this book. That may this book bless lives. May this book bring deliverance. May this book bring healing. May this book bring blessing. Anybody here today that grabs this book, I prophesy that they will live here with a miracle. They will live here with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, uh, Mamane Johnny. Having said that, please help me do this. I know a lot of people when they hurry to go, but please help me do this. I want us to unveil this book. And formally declare it launch. I want to pray that where our sister Gloria has never been, this book will be. I pray that this book will go to the four corners of the earth and that people will be blessed immensely. I pray that men and women of substance will read this book and find the need to reprint it. But Gloria, I want to say this book on offenses will go very far. One of the books, I've written many books, but one of the books that opened a door for me in many nations was my book on the dangers of offense. So I know this book will go far. Because everybody seated here today, in a way, is offended. And the things we get offended about are practically nothing. And many years down the line, when you get to know why you're offended about why you should not be offended, you realize that you're offended about absolutely nothing. So having said that, please let us just give some ransom towards this book so that she can reprint again. And my prayer is that somebody here will show her love by sowing into this book. I want to take the first five and I'm believing God that somebody here will be one of the first five. How much is 20,000? 
How much is 10,000? And how much is 5,000? As compared to the kind of love we have for this great woman of God. Please be the first to give me how much you want to sow into this group. I want the first person to do that. Go out of your way. Show her love. Apart from the father, we came to eat and dine with her. We also want her to know that we want to sow into her life. And trust me, the first person that comes, I will really appreciate it. Let's sow something to this thing. Can I have by hand, see by hand the first person? I'm sowing the first five now, and I want us to acknowledge the people. Who's doing the first bit? Testimony, let's do it. Be the first to do it. Sow a seed into this book. And you have to show that love this morning. Can I see the first hand? Please do it. For all you know, when you begin, the others will follow. Thank you for being the first. How much are you sowing? Mami soja, where will you soja? Mami soja ni America, de leni. Okay, go find any new song and all. Hey, we can't let you go. So the first one, the second one, I'm going to get a five before I announce all they are giving me. Who's the second? Yes, of you are the second. Please, with all respect, due respect, stand here. Yes. It's a three more. Then I'll announce what they are giving us. Please. I want the next person here. Let's do this beautifully. Let's just show as a Gloria some love. Hello, am I seeing my hand a second person? Hello? Eh? Lizzie Bamo, one minute. I know your phone is an H and a half. Wonderful. Hello, next person. <clears throat> Can I have the next person? I'm, I'm getting the first five before I announce it. Who else am I seeing here? Please come. Hello? Are you coming? Amen. I'm not called to announce. So let me talk to the person. Hello? Hello? Yes? Um, yes, hello. I can hear you. Come on. You can double it. Okay, she's doubling it. She was going to give $500, but she, I've asked her to double it. So I think that is acceptable. So that should be uh, $1,000. That is acceptable. Okay, wonderful. Standing in for Mama Christy, wonderful. So we need one more. We've got in the five. Well, we need one more. Got the other one, the American one was by proxy. Can we get the next one? Hello? Bring my Charlotte here. Yes. Okay, so can I release them? Okay, so Mama is giving us 10,000. 
Osofu is giving us 5,000. Dr. Odro is giving us 5,000. Mama Christido, Tata is giving us 2,000. Mama Rita is giving us 2,000. And this mommy here was a soldier in the army in the United States of America. So when she's walking, she still thinks she's a soldier here. Then I soldier I'm a young mommy. But please help me acknowledge her. She was the first to come out with 1,000. The Lord bless you. Is anybody coming, please? Let's do this thing quickly. Let's get this done easily. Amen. Hello. Who is the next person to come? Please, let's sow a seed. Whether 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, or 1,000, let's just do it. And God bless you all, please. God bless you. I hope you've written their names. And make sure you get their DNA, their blood group, and everything. So we can track them down. Those who don't have wives, look for their boyfriends or their fiancés. Fiancés and make sure we track them down. The next person, please. Let's do this thing quickly. Even if you don't have the money here, you can bring it later. I want everybody to sow a seed into this great book. <clears throat> hey. Hey, Ohini Yiri. This is the wife of Nana Yadong, the Chidomini of Asante Azar Cancer. She's bringing us 5,000. Thank you. You are not part of this program, but you decided to sow. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. When we all go to Manshia, and they say it is tough. You can't see your two four, and Nana Kunado holds your hands. You get straight into the house. God bless you. Please, let's do this. Let's sow a seed. Hello? Hey. Lady Gifty. Or any in your mana. So, so Henry Gifty Auntie, Doctor Gifty, is giving us two thousand. <laughs> it be, it be. Yes, please let's do it. Let's sow a seed. Yes, show that. How much are you giving? Eh? Thousand cities. God bless you. Thousand. Two thousand. So that's powerful. <laughs> Clap for him. Clap for that. One thousand. Wow. One thousand. Yes. One thousand. One thousand. Now, Pastor Gloria, I'm going to host you on my TV program for one hour. And I'll make sure it's been on God channel, Christian channel, and on the channel at home. Just speak about this book. Prepare the questions yourself. Prepare the questions. You can prepare about 10 questions that you are very comfortable with. We do that. This day, Mama Rita and Mama Kizreta will tell you, their husband, when they are going, they will give you condition. Prepare. They, nobody will take anybody for, by surprise. So prepare your own questions. And you'll be surprised what kind of people you meet. And by virtue of your beauty, 
Let your husband come and stand by you small. Fio keke. Bohemia yo. 2,000. 2,000. Bless you. And her daughter shared 2,000. 2,002. Another daughter, she play your daughter say her son say your bar more get two two and now walk out. Oh no! Yes, please. Can we have the next person? Let's do it. Let's do this thing quickly and gently, and let's get it out of the way. Seriously, Pastor Gloria, we can do this. We can sit down and strategy. We need to be strategic, and there are also a way of selling this book. Go to filling stations. Go and ask for the book. Do they have this book by the title Victory Over Offenses? Go to Challenge Bush Shop. Send five people there. Let them ask for the book. Hmm? Create scarcity about the book. And then people will be calling you. They'll be calling, looking for it for about today. Five people have come to ask for the book. Let's okay. Book is very expensive. And they will sell it. Can I have the next person? Please, let's do this quick. Even if it's not 2,000 or 1,000, it's 5,000 and 500 you want to give, can you please come and take it? Let's do it quickly. I, I, I thought I was going to leave here before 12 noon. Mm. Yeah. 500, God bless you. It's awful. 500. God bless you. Am I looking for the next person? Let's do that. Let's do the 500. Plenty, plenty. All of us should give 500. Then we can go home. Amen. The next person. Yes. Let's do it. Even the food and the drink we've taken alone. We have gone to a restaurant. Oh, hello. 500. God bless you. Amen. Yes, see that. 500, God bless you. God bless you. How much? 500, God bless you. Who else is coming? Do it. Let's do it quickly. Let's just get this thing done now so we can continue to sing. I notice. You guys want to sing, so let's finish, then you can continue to do the singing. Amen. 500. 500. Yes, am I getting the next person? Am I getting the next person to come? How much with that? 1,000, God bless you. Yes. Wonderful. How much? I like your earring. Five? 500 pounds. 500 is okay. Bless you. Hey. Also, mommy's of 1,000. Kongeke. In the Saminya. 1,000. Yes. The next person, please let's do this thing. 500. I think we can still have a few 500s to come. And Mama Rita, the message you gave was just splendid. These are practical messages. These are messages that you only be arrogant to say you don't identify with this message. All of us is just by the grace of God. God bless you for been truthful. And, and people like you and Mama, France, uh, and Mama um, Kisudo and others, these are the messages that will make sense from you. So people will not just think you started and it happened. Congratulations. Yes. Now I'm going to give this in a flat rate. Every one of us here, let's sow 200 into this book. Nobody should live here without this book. Let's sow 200 into this book. Please, let's come. Let's start. Every one of us here. Yes, sir. 200. Yes. Every one of us here. It's just, it's just fair that we came to celebrate her. And we are sowing 200 at least into her life. And please, let's do it. 
Yes, as much as possible. Yes. Can we have somebody to come now? Will you come in? Yes. It's over. How are you? How much? 200. Good. Who else is coming? Please, let's do this. Let's do this quickly. Let's do it. Let's bless her. Let's empty this place. And, and let's show that love. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amen. Hello. Let's do this. Can I have the next person to sow at least 200? Let everybody here be part of this. And once again, Mama Gloria Kafui Lamte, happy birthday. Yeah. How much are you sowing? 200. Wonderful. 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 Now somebody will say also 200. So somebody will say, so the man who is also launching, what they say? Hey, my miller. How much are you giving us? 200. God bless you. Hello? 200. God bless you. Who else is sewing here? Please, let's do it nicely and gently. 200. Wonderful. And let me also say, also, how much did you give? 5,000. Okay, I'll match you. Me too, I give 5,000. Is that okay? I'm only matching him. Five oh, check on in a dick on winning a deal. Check people on nap young, pin my guam nap young, no nang and not young a grono, echoing and not young a sea. Pill on in a day or don't get your noon sea when ye in can echoing and up young a whim, and no mam non in day on it. The bee, mam no, the bee will go and young bee in your mam, whim nap young. No, no, one to big Go to me. Oh. My respect. Please, let's do this thing before Mama Christo, Christy Dotete charges on us. We have only one school prefect in Ghana. <laughs> and she is, trust me, all the men of God. She go to be hope. Unfortunately for her, to a can be shop Benson the house. I move. 200, bless you. 200, 200. Uh, that's so. Yes. Hello. Can I have the next person now? Please, finally, let's seal this thing. Let's at least every one of us sacrifice a hundred. And I'm not going to say anything after that. You can even pick one hundred and buy it for somebody. This is a good book. Victory over offenses. Remember, offenses are traps of the enemy. Offenses can destroy your home. Offenses can destroy your marriage. And offenses have destroyed many good relationships. And you don't want to miss this book. Please take at least 100 and come and sew it into this book as I run off this segment. Do it. Even if you've taken one already, you want to buy one for somebody, please do that. Do that. And seriously, Pastor Gloria, I will, I will host you in those things. Yeah, well, let's sit down and just talk about it. We can even do a recording in one of the studios here, and then beam it in other parts of the world. Yes. Hello. God bless you. No problem. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, 
Are we still expecting some people to come, please? Let's do it quickly. I think in the next two minutes, I should be done with that. How much are you giving us? 200. I'm very proud of you. I like people who serve in church and still give. That's some people, when they serve, they don't give. I see that with a lot of instrumentalists and choristers and things. They don't give, so they never get any higher. Some of them, the kind of voices they have, they should be the wrong canonists and others. But I make an honey. So congratulations. Bless you. Bless you. Mama, bless you. I think we end here. Are you, were you coming, sweetheart? Is somebody coming? Father, we thank you for this book. We dedicate it unto your care again. I agree with Mama Rita and Mama Christy Do Tete. And I said that this book will go many places. Let it be a point of contact for another height in ministry for the entire Lamte family. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. So, thank you very much, Dr. Lawrence Tete. Um, we're going to cut the birthday cake, and then we're going to have a jubilee prayer poured on the celebrant. And we have no other person to do that for us than the woman warrior. And with the standing ovation, before she walks up here, I'll need the ushering team to put a court team, kindly bring it. So, with a standing ovation and a clap of celebration, let's welcome our own very mama, Reverend Dr. Christy Dotete, as she takes over here. And for you to know, um, our celebrant's parents are 50 years in marriage. And then his only brother is also 40 years. And so it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a put together thing. Let's welcome Mama Christy Dolchete. I think it's proper for us to sing happy birthday to her. So. Ajay. Mama G. May the Lord. you have to join me Apostle um, you have to join me Dr. Lawrence Tete Meleo. Mama Rita is going to assist the celebrant to cut the cake and then I will pray for her she's one of the daughters I have a granddaughter who is so very special to me, very dear to me. I've come to preach for her here and I want to see D 
these ones carry on with our legacy. When I didn't even, I haven't even started. Mama Rita said to me one day, when she saw me the first time in Nigeria, she told herself that one day she wants to be like me. And I told her, you'll be more than me. And I'm seeing it happening. I'm seeing it happening and I'm so, so proud. We will live long and well enough to see you clock 60, to see you clock 70, and on and on and on. Because this world, this generation needs you. Mama Rita, do the cake for me and then your husband will help you. Doc, so all of us. We cut the 50th birthday cake in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Like my mom has said, we won't die now. We will live to see Mama Gloria celebrate 60. Amen. Then we will be 70 plus. Mm -hmm. We will live to see her celebrate 70. Amen. We will be 80 plus. We will live to see her celebrate 80. We will be 90 plus. We will see her celebrate 90. We will be 100 plus. At 800, we will decide when we want to go. May you be blessed. May you be favored in the name of Jesus. And anybody that wants to go beyond 50, 60, and 70, I want to hear you shout a big amen. amen. Please be seated. You don't have pillow. You kneel like that. Okay. Woo nyume ninara dawa asi asafo ye wa wo di mona kafui ati koni asafo ye wo di Ministry can only get better at 50. We declare prophetically as I join my anointing with the anointings of all the men and women of God here, Mama Rita, Dr. Lawrence, and all the apostles. Victory shall be your portion. Amen. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor for another man to enjoy. You will enjoy the fruits of your labor. As Mama Rita is enjoying today, you will enjoy seeing. You will see this ministry grow and expand. As you see lives beautified, so shall your life be beautified. As you see God build homes, so shall yours be built. May the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart be acceptable unto the Lord. May the oil of jubilee that rests upon you today carry you, lift you, to wherever the Lord has mandated for you to go, nothing will limit you. I prophesy greater grace upon your life. That which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which we have handled, will impact into your life. As Dr. Lawrence Tetter will feature you on his program, that will be the beginning of beginnings for you. 
You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed going out. You are blessed coming in. You will live long. You will live strong. You will live well. Your friends are here to celebrate with you. That alone should be a strong indication for you to know that God is with you. We bless you on your 50th birthday. I prophesy a new song in your mouth. More books will come out of your spirit. More books in Jesus' name. These books will go to where you may never be able to reach. May the spirit of the writer in me come alive in you. Forge ahead. Conquer more territories. Win more victories. We bless your father. We bless your mother. The womb that bore you. May they be alive to see more glories on Kafu. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. So the cake you cut with your husband, your children, your parents, your friends, and even if they are enemies, cut with them. When Mama Rita was cutting her cake, Mama Christie said something to them. You will live long. Then when Papa took the microphone, he was like, Honey, <laughs> they will be together. They together. They will be together. Let's put our hands together as Mama Christy. We have, we have received our blasting from Mama Christy already. When she got here, I was doing my makeup. And somebody was working on my wig. So she, had, she was ready then. So she came to say hello to Mama Christy. So she got here first. So we salute you. Now, I would like to invite Mr. and Mrs. Nyamode to join us. Cut the cake. Fifty years in marriage and above. Wow. You won't clap. You are telling God 50 is too much. Six months for now. So, if you want to see how your wife will look when she grows old, visit your mother-in-law. And looking at my girlfriend stand here, I know how she will look when I am 60 and she is there. So please, Mr. and Mrs. Nyamado will join us. Cut the cake. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you so much. Now, our children. Uh, uh, Shafato, where are you? Where is Shafato? Siblings of the celebrant. The person who gave me the chance first and gave me assurance that I will surely get this baby was this young man here. He gave me, I remember one day I went there, the gate was locked. 
but he knows how I knock. He heard it. It was raining too. He quickly came, opened it, went in and called her. Only for her to get at her. Oh, Abraham is late. Go home. Aula. That's exactly how I went home. And as a good brother-in-law, he accompanied me. So still, he's my brown uncle say. So please, we cut this cake. That's Safako. She comes after soft money. And then the other two are in the UK. And he is the last but one. But he has been enjoying because he's the only male. And he has taken four Akuntasikai. See me after the program. Wait up. Amen. Now, I want to sound like I am from the Anro side of the Volta region. Children. Uh, the children, if you are in the area, uh, try and come around. Children, body, Mavis, Gifty, Helen, Sandra, Grace. Philip, Sami, Wima, Helen, Queen Elizabeth. She's the Queen Elizabeth of the house. And the commander in chief of the house. Yes. Gifty at 15. So, where is Mavis? Shut us in front, please. Where is Mavis? All right. Stretch your hands. Thank you. The caucus. Where is we? Caucuses and caucus was. And uh, the Steve Doku, unofficial member. <laughs> yes, Kofi. Shut us in front. Ah, my sister. How can you? The fifties should stand together. We won't say anything. So we cut caucus. This one, I beg you. This is not me. It is my wife. Don't do your thing here. Don't do your thing. Don't. Okay, the caucus was. The caucus was and the 50s. If you want to know what the caucus stands for, please, after everything, see this wonderful great apostle and the white man in the corner there. You see the caucus was. Hmm? Now, mommies, schoolmates, and school mothers and school seniors and the uh, Kitaskans, old Kitaskans, Nevan Gogbe, Niakati Kekiem. Old Kitaskans. Jolali. Nyata for Mawami Pore. Okay. The last time I checked, they told me you were in the Caribbean. So you are now, Jejom, are you from Kitasku? Did you go to? And those from Emmet Electronics Institute, the best school. Please, thank you. Close next. Okay, please. Okay, we cut. I thought I can't come in with you. Good. In the name of the Father, 
another son, another Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, all pastors' wives. All pastors' wives. All pastors' wives, those that you've forgotten your pastors. As of wives, let me disappear. I'll just comment for you. I'll do the commentary. So, the as of wives are cutting the cake in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Let me do something prophetic. I copied this one from Mama Rita. If you are here looking for a child, come stand with us of Mommy to cut the cake. If you are here looking for a child, Come cut the cake with Mama Gloria right now. And it is always the women who come. But men, you are the serious ones. If you are here looking for a child, please come cut the cake with Mommy. Hurry up. We'll be dancing a lot very soon. They cut in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, 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 All Tuesday bonds. All Tuesday bonds. So all Tuesday bonds, please come join soft mommy, including myself. Ah, see, Tuesday. No wonder, Fako, only you. All Tuesday bonds. Asafo, please take the microphone. Could you think, please? Take up the microphone and minister. Tuesday bonds, please, if you've forgotten your day of All birth. Tuesday bonds. We cut the cake in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The, rest, uh, the rest of the days. The rest of the days, we will think when to call you. Amen. Now next to cut the cake with mommy, uh, her armor bearers. Please join her right now. Sons and daughters, spiritual sons and daughters, spiritual sons and daughters.
sons and daughters. Maybe you don't know, or maybe you are an orphan. Charlotte Odro, please join her. The two musketeers. I, I, the two musketeers. If you come between the two of them, your own mother. These two people. Not even me. Not even me. Let's receive the aunties and the uncles of mommy. Aunties and uncles of mommy. The family, please. Aunties, uncles, cousins, uh, nephews. Please. Nana Yuri is here. Is it nieces or nurses? Your niece or your niece? Friend, fathers and their daughters, don't try. She's taller than her father. God bless you. God bless you. Shall we receive the Tego sisters to join? Mom and and PSA, Esther. Esther, get ready. Please join them to cut. Prophet and Mrs. AJ, get ready. Cassie, you, you are spare here. What is here? What is here? Thank you. Me peace here. Coming from far. I So there is a presentation from uh, Whip Not Child 
and the delegation from Daman. Now, Daman is a village uh, this church has adopted. Part of the three villages we have adopted, and the church also has over 20 acres of land there. We're looking for partners to put up a pediatric hospital there. So, Doc, think of something so that we'll talk after. <laughs> Amen. And a delegation from Daman are here. The, the, the mother of Whipnot Child is here with them. So, please, let's welcome them as they do their presentation. Yes. Now, Whipnot Child is an orphanage. When you go there, you would love them. The last time mommy went there, all the children wrote something special. So, and where are the protocol team? Can I, can I have a protocol? One problem with mothers, when their children are crying in the midst of the program, a typical African mother, that is rather the time she would be beating the child to cry more. That is a typical African mother. How many of you have had that experience before? When you shouldn't have been beating and your mother is still giving you beatings on it. Let's welcome mommy to come. Can I have a, a protocol member come take care of this? You people are behaving like you are tired. Look, I've been very gentle. I mean, very, very... Hmm. Today, my mother is here. So, I don't want to do anything to look like my father. Yes. Thank you. Let's hear from... Ah. Are you serious? Good afternoon to you all. My name is Abdul Kabiru Fatal, and I'm here to present a gift from Weep Not Child Foundation to Mama Gloria. <laughs> Reverend Lady Gloria Kafui Lampe, how can we forget the love and affection you constantly dash? As through the, how can we, sorry please, how can we forget the love and affection you constantly dash out to us without condition? You are always ready to sacrifice your happiness and substance just to make sure that, that a smile brightens our faces. We will forever be grateful to Almighty God for making you the mother and the strong pillar of Weep Not Child Foundation. May all the days of your life be as beautiful as the sun and the rainbow. May happiness and joy for, forever reign in your heart of gold. We really appreciate you from the bottom of our heart. We say a big thank you and a happy birthday. Mama Gloria. So for you to know tomorrow... The Reverend, celebrant. Reverend Lady Gloria Kafui Lampe, I salute you. So tomorrow she does a presentation at the same orphanage tomorrow morning. We are driving all the way to show some love again. So it's not my time to speak, but I just want to say this. Anytime I'm with with no child, I'm very emotional. Um, because they are an orphanage that is not government assisted. They are at um, Daman, just a little beyond in Sawam. And this wonderful woman, Auntie Comfort, she has sacrificed her happiness, her substance, and she takes care of how many children there now? 68 children there. And, oh, I thought it was a good time. Sometimes you go there, fresh babies. Sometimes they are in need of uh, medi uh, medical aid. Sometimes water, please. So if you have any donation, 
and you want to help any orphanage, just contact me and we'll go to Weep No Child. Mama Charlotte went there the other time on her birthday. She just went, dropped her, her seed and came back. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, we are also going there to show our love to them. I normally go on my birthday, but this is 50. So I celebrate, then I go and celebrate with them. Thank you so much for honoring me. Lady Reverend Gloria Agla Kafu Lombo. I have a gift for you. And when I said I have a gift for her, every mind went to a substance. But this is the gift I have for her. Today marks 50 years. When that young, beautiful woman in Kumasi then gave birth to you. Again, marks 25 years when you came into my life. Sharing half of your life with me is enough to say you owe me. They didn't hear that. Because it's not meant for them. It takes a man to say what I just said. Sharing half of your life with me is enough for me to say you own me. A mother fights over the child because she knows she owns the child. They may not understand your fight, but it is worth it. All I have for you is what I told you that day. I say to you, the next 25 years will let you know you were not wrong in choosing me. The next 25 years will let you know that there is more to enjoy than to endure. The next 25 years, I will let you see your grandchildren in joy and you will roam all over the world taking care of them. Finally, the gift I have for you is this. I want to marry you again. Will you? I am a gun. Don't expect me to go on my knees. Then I am being a fake person. I am being real. Hello. He has born again. Yesu papa kuwashi yeka bagba wana. But my mommy is here. And I saw papa propose again and said he will propose again again. So please, give me the honor. Not a metal. I'm not going to propose to you again with a metal. But I'm proposing to you again with my heart and my life. I want to marry you again. Will you? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> will you? Yes, I will. She said yes. She said yes. Please help me from this day forth be a good husband to her. May your presence around us not be a threat to her, but a blessing. Thanks for accepting my proposal. I'll see you tonight. Ha! Redusha! Jesus! Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Oh God. <laughs> Bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Bless me. And bless me again. In Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. Hmm. Tonight we and she's asking me to sing the song I sang hmm. that made her fall in love with me. The first day she got to International Bible Worship Center, I was the one worshiping. She never confessed until later. She said when she walked in, something told her that is your husband. That I was looking too, you know, muscular and fat. And she loves slim guys. I am saying, sir, she said she doesn't want fat guys. Thank you. Yes, you were all here. And interestingly, the song I was doing happened to be my mother's favorite song. You know that song, right?
Sisters, and then now we have PSA Esther. PSA, send me all to trim up him and come in. You meet if I am free, send me a way. I'm a minute or so, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, quite you ref for. I think it's not so so for. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see that we are.
see something. All oh, the husbands have left their wives. It's only Apostle Eje who, who is still sitting with the wife. I was looking around. I went to Reverend Itete's wife. I said, all oh, the men are gone. They have left their wives at the table. Let's welcome the celebrant to give us a closing remarks. Hallelujah. Be the last, last, last best. And I thank you all so much for staying with me from morning. It's, it's three, right? A few minutes to three. Thank you so much. I want to thank God for the ups and downs and all. It only made me stronger. I want to thank God so much. I want to thank the Papa of the house, the Apostle of Worship, my husband. I want, I want to thank him for everything. I can't mention names. For all my sons and daughters who made this um, tea party a success. I want to especially, my mom is not here. My Balichka mom and dad are not here. They just stepped out. I want to say thank you, mom and dad. Thank you for grooming me to be the woman I am today. And to my spiritual mother, Mama Rita. Thank you so much. She was uh, reminded that she has a meeting at three. Knowing her, she would have sat here till the last person would leave. Mama, I want to say thank you. God bless you. I want to say, Mama Christy, such a wonderful woman. She's strong. She will rebuke you. But she will still love you and make you feel very comfortable. And to Mama Dora Takiya, boy, Dr. Lawrence Tete, all the men and the caucus, my sons and daughters, everybody, that stayed with me, my friends, my family, my armor bearers, I say thank you all. If I forgot to mention you, I'm sorry, but all I want to say is that thank you and I love you. Tomorrow, we are going to the orphanage. Please, if you want to come along, please, you are welcome. And then Wednesday, we are going to Lekma to discharge 10 women that have delivered and cannot pay their hospital bills. So, Every money you give is going to be used for a worthy cause. Thank you so much, and I love you. Thank you very much, Mommy. And please, we thank all of you for coming. Shall we rise up as um, just fraternize with someone? We just want to pray that, Father, 
We thank you for such a wonderful gathering. We ask that you guide leaders on everything we have Zoom here. You bring it to pass in our lives. We pray that, Lord, those of us that we expect to witness this day, let us see the glory and your manifestation in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Um, the contract will take over and play some things as we go.